Hello, this is Grandy here with an Open Spades video. This is just an introduction to Open Spades and what it's all about. If you haven't heard of it before, Open Spades is an OpenGL implementation of the Foxlap client for both 0.75 and 0.76. So in terms of uh, compatibility, you can join either server, no problem at all. Um, what we have directly in front of you here is the startup program. It has a little information about who wrote it. And moving on, we have setup, all the general resolution, full screen, player name. We've also got these extra options here. We have anti-aliasing. I've heard that some people have some problems with screen flickering, and changing this around has helped a bit. Uh, I've got blood and soft particles and so on on. Uh, my name. If I go into advanced settings, I've changed a few things in here. Uh, one thing to note first off is where your player name is. CG underscore player name, just above it is a mass sensitivity. So it's trying to find that out. Uh, you can change whether you have motion blur using the camera, camera blur option. And I've also got SRGB to zero. So there's the options I have. Uh, you got the tab saying about your graphics card and whether you support it. And then you've got a server list with complete with filters. You can change whether you just want to see 0.75, 0.76. You can use the tabs at the top, um, the column headers, to change uh, the sorting order. So it has its own its, its own complete functionality. It's really, really, really good. So I'm going to go in game and show you what it's all about, and I'll see you there. Alright, so this is the new loading screen, which does its job very nicely. One thing to note is, uh, in terms of performance and the optimization this game has, my PC, the same one that runs um, the VoxApp client with about 30 frames a second, I'm getting upwards of 50 frames on open spades, which is pleasantly surprising <laughs> really for me. Uh, I wasn't expecting to be able to run it or run it with any ease. I mean, I can't play uh, 1.0 due to its terrible optimization. Um, it's just too too bad a frame rate for me. Um, let me just get into Spectator here. I think I'm going to have a brief first look at, uh, at the game. Oh, sun. You've got sun. You've got water. And water that actually shimmers. Actually, looks like it's, it's vaguely watery. It's just much nice, much nicer, much more real, I guess. Um, you also notice the shadow effects, both mainly on the train. I love the way the shadows work on the train. Um, it just makes the whole feel look so much nicer. So so much nicer. Yeah, let me. Join a team here. Looks like I've got to join blue. Press L to bring up this menu. Go the rifle. I've got to wait for the spawn timer. Right, so welcome. This is how it actually feels. This is me sprinting. Look at that. It actually feels like you're sprinting. It's amazing. Um, so first thing to note is actually the models. Um, to me, the models look a bit clean. Um, they're all one colour and very... Whew. They look all too clean. <laughs> look at that. Ragdoll effects when you die. Still got a bit of a shadow on it and it floats out into the water. <laughs> Yeah, the model, the, the answer takes up quite a bit of the screen, but it's, uh, I'm sure that's quite a simple, simple change to make. Um, yeah, what are you showing? Let me show the shooting. Ow! Ow! It starts the shooting at the Whoa! Whoa, steady! <laughs> Sheesh. Uh, the reloading takes on a whole different animation here. Uh, different guns have different uh, animations for it. Um, and the recoil is very different. So you can see the interface showing the bullets going down. So I'm taking the clip out, putting it back in. Come 
I saw you up there. It's nice to see the flash of their muzzle. Come on. You're gonna die. Obviously not. <laughs> so if I then change to something like the SMG, I really like the animation on the SMG. It's a really nice feel to it. Look at that. And the animation. Yeah. See what I mean? It's just very crisp. Very, very nice. Let's move on to grenades. Um, again, it has all the same characteristics of an ordinary grenade, except, I mean, it's got smoke, it's got a screen rumble associated with it. Ouch, I'm getting hurt. If I was to go over here to the water, and this is a really nice touch that I like. Look at that. Really quite impressive. He's dead. Oh, there's a guy up there. Oh! Oh! I obviously missed another guy. Oh well. Let me change. Uh, shotgun is fairly as you would expect. Um, you already noticed that the sound's quite different. Um, I spoke to YBT. Um, because I've noticed that footsteps are no longer all that um, not easily hearable. The, the tracing, being able to find where somebody is just from listening, is gone. Um, but he has a few plans to try and uh, make footsteps or s smaller sounds much more easily hearable. Oh, you guys are mine. Come on, you. Wow. <laughs> yeah, this is again the animation there. Another interesting feature that I wouldn't have thought about is the flashlight, which I've got on here with F. Uh, for a guy like me who has a not very good monitor, being able to hit F and uh, turn the flashlight on in um, in dark places, it actually will really help. So my monitor won't distinguish between similar colours very well. It actually makes tunnelling feasible for me. Which is great. Um, as you see in the top right, we've got a mini-map. It actually has a scale with it too. Pressing M changes the scale, so the, the old map button actually changes the scale, and N brings up the map. The usual map that we're used to. Which is pretty standard. Um, Obviously different keys, but very easy to get used to that. But yeah, I think that's just about everything I needed to cover. Oh! <laughs> Die! New! No. Yes, thank you for watching. This is an introduction to Open Spades. All the links shall be in the description below. Let me know what you think. I'll certainly be making more videos of this, as it is pretty refreshing to use. Um, but yeah, I hope to see more people using this, and uh, the future will be interesting.